Hi, everybody. Welcome to Six Questions with Alana. That's me. And with us today, we have Michelle Gervais, one of our faculty choreographers. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Alana. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. We're going to be talking about your fall 2022 piece, Feral, a crowd favorite, a hit. <laughs> um, can you talk to us a little bit about the creative process or inspiration behind this work? Feral was funny because I, I was like playing with ideas and I was trying to find something that um i could play with hair with mm. i've been growing my hair i have, I have hair <laughs> now. so i just i just wanted to play with what movement we could you know do and like experiment and and just like have fun with it and so it kind of started that way and then i found the music which was called feral mm. and i was like well that's pretty easy you know <laughs> <laughs> i was like i really like that as a word too yeah and, and with the quality of the music, it suited the music and it ended up suiting the piece too, you know, mm -hmm. but also it helped me gear the piece. Yeah. I was, too, I was like, feral, what does that make me think of? You know, mm -hmm. I immediately think of like wild cats or feral cats or dogs or things. Yeah. Like, well, people haven't been feral since like, well, the cavemen, Yeah. you know, kind of thing. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should make them cavemen. <laughs> you know? And that's just kind of like where it came from. And then we were talking and stuff and the kids were like, well, like, I kind of, what do you mean? I said, it's kind of like sexy Flint Flintstones. Sexy Flintstones, yes. <laughs> I was like, not like, you know, Party City sexy costume yeah. Flintstones, you know, like nothing yeah. like that, you know, more like true caveman, you know, yeah. kind of, but not like cartoon, you know, yeah. more like kind of, you know, very kind of grunty and growly. Yeah. And, and then, you know, so like there, in a sense, there's kind of, there's some sexiness to the hair. Though, yeah. You know? No, the hair for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I just like, I was like, I guess that's what it is. They actually made me a button. I have to show you. Oh, it's, yeah. Hello. My name is Sexy Flintstone. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, God. That I love was them. Awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's so we cute. We had such a fun, I had so much fun with the dancers. Mm. Like it was really just, um, I don't know. It was a really nice experience for me as well yeah. as I think for them. And I think that that shows sometimes in the work, you know, and I was really, really pleased with the final product. I would have loved to have played with the lighting a little more, I think. But mm, yeah. besides that, I was kind of, you know what I mean? But um, yeah. just to create a little more atmosphere, but I felt like sometimes it was a bit dark. As I yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And people who watch it, they'll see if like they think, oh, maybe that was a little dark or, yeah. you know, whatever. But it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on in our brains, too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we watch things and we're kind of like, oh, if I could just switch okay. that or change that little thing. Yeah. Or, you know, like we're always picking at ourselves, you know. Of course, yes. <laughs> I think if you're good at anything, you're never content. You know, you always <laughs> wish you could do it a little better. You know? yeah, especially with <laughs> so, dance, especially with art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Um, how did you go about fi finding that music, choosing costumes? The hair was a prop eventually for the boys. How did that kind of all come together? Um, things like that. Uh, I would say as we started, like the very first day, we started moving it around. And Nate, one of the boys, had a little bit of hair, like, yeah. you know, just enough to like flop around and bounce <laughs> and stuff. And, and uh, I was kind of like, that's kind of cute. I was kind of like I was watching uh, Kazuma, the other guy mm -hmm. in the pants, who you know has very very short hair. Mm -hmm. and I was kind of like he's doing the movement so well. Yeah, can't you can't see that. Yeah, I was kind of like it just needs it just needs that. It's like this is what this piece is about. So I'm gonna like I'm gonna find a way. You know, yeah. I'm gonna ask this costume designer. You know, like can we please find a way to give these boys some hair? Yeah, so they can <laughs> toss it around and you know and do all that stuff. So you'll see in the piece too that Nate ends up with a braid and Kazuma ends up with this weird headband thing with this hair flying up. It's just so good. fabulous. Wild. We actually talked, you know, during the shows and he was like, it's fun. He's yeah. like, I'm throwing the hair around, you know. You feel the weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, that was really cool. It was like really watching it. I was like, they have to have it, you know. So that just yeah. Some of those elements just came in like as I was watching it and I was like, mm, this needs that for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. They needed yeah. that ponytail for sure. Yeah. Um, and the music. Yeah, yeah, that's about the music. Um, I, I've had in my library for a long time and it's something that I, there's a 
two versions of this song. The artist is Radiohead, and they like to do all these remixes and stuff, and you know that sort of thing. And and this is a remix of the oh, original Carol. Yeah. And I actually many years ago in a summer school project, I choreographed to the original Feral. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, and then this other version came out. And I was like, oh, I like that. But I was like, I don't know if it would, you know, like it just yeah. like, so it's been in my library for a while. And I was just kind of like, you know what? This would be, I would love to revisit this music and just play and, and you know, change it up. And, and it's so different from the original music. Mm -hmm. that it doesn't seem like it's the same piece, you know, but yeah. But, very cool so yeah um how did you use well I mean all of your dancers are very, obviously very talented but all have very different styles of movement yes. naturally so how did you kind of take their styles and bring them into this piece well with the ensemble work we had to I had to choose movement that was accomplishable by everybody mm -hmm. and the same kind of quality Right. And so I tried to do that. And then when they each have little moments to shine or do their own thing, mm -hmm. I tried to make it very much suit the way they dance and yeah. their personality and like, you know, that kind of thing yeah. to make it a little bit more personal and take advantage of some of the really good qualities they have, mm -hmm. you know, that maybe I'm not using in some of the other ensemble stuff. Yes. You know, so they get to, we get to see what they're capable of mm -hmm. a little bit. So I played a lot with that. Yeah. Yeah, they did all have like, yeah, little individual moments that you could kind of see. Yeah. Just yeah. Give them a little they're all so talented. Yeah, you kind of want to yeah. <laughs> yeah. off a little bit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, I mean, you absolutely did. Also, always. it's a way that I like to use for future choreographers and stuff. It's a really, really nice way to break something up and make mm -hmm. it feel shorter. Oh, yeah. In some pieces like if you're kind of in the same mode for too long it, just, it even if it's really good it starts to feel long yes yeah you no know? you're all doing the same thing the whole time the yeah. Whole way through. yeah you know so i i try with most of my pieces to either break it up and you know into sections you know or um try to also not stay um always with with the kind of the beat of the music yeah go off of it a little bit we have to put in a climax and we have to put in a you know what I mean you have to kind of tell a story a little bit and take people on a trip yeah yes right? absolutely yeah and so and sometimes you have like this very repetitive music and you have to try to you know make it go up and down make, make so a like, climax yeah <laughs> throwing in little solos is a really nice easy quick way to do that too yeah absolutely yes absolutely um for this piece did you use any either choreographic techniques lighting techniques or any new techniques in general that you don't or that you haven't used before or that you haven't used in a long time well most of the the hair movement and stuff was uh new for me to choreograph it yeah i've seen some before i've done some before you know what i mean but for my own like i'm just like okay you know this yeah. is about the hair yeah. <laughs> like everything else is secondary it's all about the hair and so I've done that before so that was a really new approach for me too mm -hmm. you know it was a, a um so I had to approach the movement differently too yeah than I maybe normally would have you know so yeah thank you from here first <laughs> yeah I, was like, I had to start everything from up around the head yeah. <laughs> really interesting and bizarre and and kind of fun to explore yeah absolutely yeah. um was there any memorable moment or perhaps a difficult situation either in rehearsal or tech or anything like that that you could think of that your dancers were able to step up and either conquer or just some some fun memory of that crew well one of my favorite memories i don't want her to feel bad about it but we were trying to teach mariah a break dance move oh <laughs> and it was just so adorable, <laughs> you know, like, like it was like, she was trying so hard as yeah. just so foreign to her yes. body, you know, she's just never done anything like that yeah. before. <laughs> and she accomplished it by the end. She got it down, yeah. you know, but kind of the learning process was, it was a little awkward for her. And of course she was laughing at herself too. And we, yeah. were, you know, we were, it was just, it was really fun. Cause it was kind yeah. of like, it was just like, she was like, I'm not the hip hop dancer at all. You know? <laughs> no. You're like that's okay. What can teach you? She's strong you? though. She can do you know? stuff. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm not a hip hop choreographer either. <laughs> but <laughs> <I like laughs> you are not. 
<laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, she is talented and beautiful. And of course, she could accomplish it by the end. I'm not surprised by that whatsoever that she was like, yeah. I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah. um, is there anything you would like to say to either a potential student choreographer or a dancer who is thinking about coming to IVC? Hmm. Um, well, come play with us because we do have a really good time. You know, this is, uh, I, I love the students here. I love their attitude. I feel like they're, they take it so seriously that it's okay for them to enjoy it. Yeah. You know, yes. it, it, it's like when you're in the moment and you're into it and what you're doing is like, and if you're having fun too, oh my God. Yes. That's just the best, you know? Yes. Um, and I know dance is, doesn't always have that reputation. Mm. You know? It's supposed mm -hmm. to be tears and just like, you're doing yeah. what I tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, and we don't work that way at IVC, you know? Some of us are a little stricter than others or whatever. And, you know, it's just, everybody has a different way of doing things. But um, you're always going to, you know, I, I think too, um, I've gotten some notes from students that really touched me where they said, I felt so welcomed. Yes. I felt like part of the family right away and, you know, things like that. And I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. You know, because a lot of times in places you hear people came in and they're like, oh, nobody would talk to me. It was yeah. so, like, part of their gang and, you know, mm -hmm. like that kind of thing. And we don't seem to have that at IVC. And that's probably one of the things I'm most proud of in our department. Yeah. You know, as well as all the talent that that's here. And um, so, you know, come play with us if you want a nice safe space to explore yourself and, and what you can do. Yeah. The student choreographers, I say a lot of times, try to follow your instincts. Mm. Don't try to overthink. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I have to analyze everything and I have to, you know, sometimes just what feels right is the right thing. Mm -hmm. So like, true. Yeah. In every aspect of life, but especially in choreography. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Michelle, that was our six questions. Thank you so uh -huh. much. And My we pleasure. hope everyone enjoys Feral. Thanks. <laughs>